Bicycling the Hermit Road in Grand Canyon National Park. We mostly focus on beginner hiking, but in this video we are going to get you prepared to bike Hermit Road on the south rim of Grand Canyon National Park. We look forward to sharing all we know about bicycling Hermit Road from Grand Canyon Village to Hermit's Rest. So let's get started. Maps we use today are from the National Park Service. We'll tell you how to rent bikes in the Grand Canyon at the end of this video, but first let's talk about the bike routes of the south rim. The focus of this video is Hermit Road and the Hermit Road Greenway Trail. However, the Grand Canyon Greenway has about 30 miles of paved asphalt trails built especially for bike. Note that on these trails you will find hikers, walkers, and the occasional elk. Bikers must yield to pedestrians as a rule when in the Grand Canyon. The bike trails east of Grand Canyon Village are from the visitor center and campgrounds out to Kaibab Trail and Yaki Point, and also south to Tassayan. The Tassayan Trail is nice as parking is located south of the entrance station and people can find stress-free parking at Tassayan and bike into the park. Put in the comments section what your favorite bike trail is. We'd love to know about it. Later we will discuss the one danger most vacationers overlook, but let's talk about our favorite ride. The best place we found to bike was Hermit's Road. The road from Bright Angel to Hermit's Rest is 7 miles one way and during the busy months is only accessible via shuttle and bicycles. It's not for everyone as the first hill is brutal for people who aren't active. However, our 10 year old daughter rode this road well and therefore we would recommend it to anyone who is comfortable biking or choose to e-bike. If you have littles, you might consider taking a rope to tow your child up hills. The viewpoints are fantastic and on bikes you can go at your own pace. Make sure you pull over when shuttles drive by as it is a rule of the park. There are many other hills, so expect to bike uphill from Hermit's Rest for most of the trip back to Bright Angel. We'll put a link in the description with maps from the National Park Service. Now is a good time to discuss the one overlooked danger of cycling the rim and next we will discuss the bike trail with a historic past and sweet ending. Cycling in Grand Canyon National Park can be a lot of fun. However, the altitude is over 7,000 feet above sea level in some places on the rim. Altitude affects people in different ways, so be cautious when biking the rim and drink a lot of water. Hot days can be especially difficult. If you feel shortness of breath or dizziness, take frequent breaks and consider shortening your ride, and if bad, seek medical attention. Bike rentals are coming up next, but let's talk about the bike trail with a treat at the end. Hermit Road connects cyclists to the Hermit Road Greenway Trail. This trail is the exact placement of the original Hermit Road from 1912. We also saw California condors resting on a dead tree hidden in the woods. As another great bike trail, the Greenway travels from Monument Creek Vista to Pima Point and ending at Hermit's Rest. The trail is 2.8 miles one way. We found this quiet trail to provide a great ride with twists and turns and small hills through pine forests with a handful of overlooks along the way. Hermit's Rest is the destination at the end of the trail where you can find a souvenir shop with ice cream and other tourist essentials. Renting bikes and e-bikes at the visitor center through Bright Angel Bicycles seem to be the most convenient method of rental. We noticed a lot of traffic at the rental shop and they offer bike helmets too. Book rental reservations early as they do sell out. They're open from 8 to 5 in the summer. We'll put a link in our description so you can learn more. Continue planning your trip to Grand Canyon by clicking the playlist or video now.